And at this position, I also need to select this next cylinder, load it as driven, translate Y, and key that in. So at this position, I want that cylinder right where it's at as a starting point. All right, I'm going to go to my circle, change it to 30, select our cylinder down there, and I'm going to raise that up to where I want it, and I'm going to key that in, translate Y. All right, so that's it for our gun open. So let's go ahead and test that. Gun open. So it works nicely. Okay, let's uh, start working on these other pieces. I'm going to change our gun open to 5. So at 5, I want these pieces right where they're at now. So I'm going to load those as a driven. And let's see, those are going to move in the... Okay, it looks like in my channel box, X and Y are changing. So I'm going to select Translate X and Shift Select Translate Y because I want to uh, do both of those. So my circle's at 5, which I want it to be, and at that position, this is going to be the starting position of those pieces of geometry that are going to be uh, um, protruding outward. So select, I'm going to key that one, and key the other one, both X and Y. All right, I'm going to change our gun open to, let's say, 10. And now I want these to be all the way in the ground when that value is at 10. So now I can key that one and key that one. All right, I'm going to change our cylinder back to 5. And let's go ahead and do these back ones. Uh, I'm going to go and hide this just to make it easier to select those. Actually, no, because we'll need to bring those back. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and control H with that selected. Control H will hide that. And let's just kind of do some parenting here. I'm going to parent that to that. Whoops, nope. That one to, let me press F to frame in. All right, P. I'm going to select this one, shift select this one, P. Select that, shift select the cylinder, P. Do the same thing the other side. Select that one, shift select that one, press P. Select that one, shift select that one, P. Select that one, shift select that one, P. Hope you can follow, follow that along. All right, I'm going to select both of those cylinders and load that as a driven. I'm going to go ahead and bring our object back that we hidden. So I'm going to go to display, show, show last hidden. All right. So when our circle is at 5, we want these to be the starting position right there. And it's going to be translate X, I believe. Let me just select, yeah, it's going to be translate X. So make sure translate X is selected, key it in, and the other side, key it in. All right, and then when our gun open is at, say, 15, I want these extended out about right there. So I'm going to key that one, pull that out, and key that one. I still have the, whoops, the translate X selected. All right, and then when our, okay, now this is going to be the starting point for the rotate. So let's go ahead and select those again, and these are going to rotate around X. So this time I'm going to select my rotate X and go ahead and key that key and key. All right, now I'm going to change my control to 25. At 25, I want these rotated, let's say 45 degrees. So I'm going to key that one, select the other one, rotate it 45 degrees, and key it. And actually, did it key it? Yeah, it did key it. All right. Now this is also going to be the starting point for these inside pieces to jettison out. So I'm going to select those two, load as driv uh, driven. And let's see, it's the Z direction. So I'm going to go over here and select Translate Z for both of them. 
well, I guess I should key it for it to stay. So that's going to be our starting position. So I'm going to key that one and key that one. Now I'm going to change our gun open to 35. And actually, let's make it kind of jettison real quick in there. So I'm going to change this down to 30. And at 30, I want these to be all the way up. Nope. We got one more in there. So I'm going to change this back to 35. And at 35, I want these about right there. So I'm going to key that one. And I want this one right there. I'm going to load these as a driven, these other ones. So load driven. This is a starting point, so I'm going to go ahead and select both of these, translate Z, key it, key it. Now I'm going to change our circle to 40, and at 40 I want these all the way in the ground, so select that, key it, put that in the ground, key it. Alright, those are done. Let's test it out. So everything looks like it's working quite nicely. Okay, let's uh, do our rotate, our gun rotate now. So let's go ahead and select our gun rotate over here in our set driven key, the upper section. Make sure our gun rotate attribute is selected. And let's see, that's going to control rotate. We can just twist this uh, cylinder right there that I've got selected. So let me load that as driven. At zero we want it right there and this is the rotate Y. So we want to highlight rotate Y down here, key that in. So when our rotate is at zero, this is the position of our rotation of our gun. So when our rotate is at negative 10, I want our object to be let's say negative 90. So I'm going to key that. And then when our rotate is at 10, we'll make this at 90. Key that in. Alright, let's just test that. So you can see it works quite nicely. Alright, let's change it to 0. Gun elevation. I'm going to select this uh, cylinder right there, load it as driven. Make sure our elevation attribute is selected over here in our set driven key dialog box. And for that cylinder, we're going to be rotating it in the X. You can see the X is changing, rotate X. So our gun elevation is zero right there, which is what we want. And at zero, we want our rotate X to be right where it's at. So let's key that in. Okay, now we have gun rotate up there, so what I need to do is I'm just going to click on my scene and I'm just going to control Z until it clears that set over here in my channel box. Alright, make sure my gun elevation is selected, and I'll do that again. Key. Alright, let's change gun elevation to 10. And at 10, we want to rotate this, say, about right there. Key it. Alright, so we're done with the set driven key dialog box. I'm just going to close that. Select our circle down there. And so there is our elevation, our rotate, and our gun open. So if you wanted to animate this, we could go down here and let's see, let's try 200. At frame one, Make sure my circle is selected. I'm just going to press the letter S. So we just set a key right there for all the controls. If you see, they're all highlighted orange right there. Let's see. Let's try 150 maybe. At 150, we want our gun to be all the way open. So let's press S there. Set a key. And then let's go all the way to 200. And let's say our rotate is something about like that. And our gun elevation is something about like that. And I'm going to press the letter S. And it sets all those for the key there. Let's see what we got. So if we run through an animation, 
there we go. So I hope that uh, simplifies how to use set different keys to uh, do some animation and add some controls to different objects in your scene. Thanks for watching.